Do from? you, uh, oh, we're from, we're from Baton Rouge. Oh, okay. What do you do up there? I have a librarian. Oh, yeah, great. So how do you have anything constructive to say? How do you feel about this uh, this this question? Do you think Clinton's going to steal the election from Sanders or Trump the way she's holding from Sanders? <laughs> That's definitely a, a loaded question. Well, she did steal the nomination from Sanders. In what way? <laughs> All right, you see, now we're getting into the stupid part. On the eve of the Democratic National Convention, WikiLeaks released emails that they hacked into the DNC, proving that the DNC colluded with Clinton to rig the election for Clinton. That's they definitely, why, they definitely supported her. That's oh, why, well, that's why Washington Schultz resigned in shame and was booed yeah. off the stage on the day of the convention, right? Yeah. Three other high operatives in the DNC resigned because of in shame. Because and what happens? So you think that she'd deny in shame? She'd slink away into some corner like she should for stealing the people's vote. No, Clinton hires her, rubs it in your face. <laughs> so you think? Okay. And so, and then I see. I guess I'm thinking. I guess I think that they. Here, I'll try to call her on her phone. Maybe I'm being naive. I guess yeah, I feel like they independently Clinton. just want to play. But, but who the hell are they? I definitely they? think they're doing the wrong thing. Who the hell are they? Oh, they want the clip. What about the people that voted? What about the 11 states that proved it brought, voted for it? What about the emails that proved that the deck was stacked against Sanders? Screw them, right? Oh, the Democratic <laughs> operatives. They want the... Oh, that was, oh, that really answers it all. So they're responsible for stealing the people's vote, but that's okay, because they're DMC officials. I guess that makes it all okay that you can piss all over the people's vote. That's wonderful. So she's proven that she stole the damn thing from Sanders. It was proven. And now, so there were, this whole election was about, really, one thing. The people against the corrupt establishment. That's why Sanders rose on the left and, and Trump on the right. I mean, Trump beat out 16 establishment candidates. Bitch slap, just chuck, chuck, out of way. Even bitch slap the Pope. Right? I'll, I'll think about it. And, it. and then you got Sanders, on the other hand, who had the masses of people. You get 30,000 people at the drop of the hat, Hillary couldn't get three women and she wins. Oh, gee, wow, why am I supposed to believe my own lying eyes or Hillary Clinton and the me lying media? Oh, gee. I saw a dozen Bernie parades. I didn't see any Clinton parades. Where the hell, you know, I'm out here trying to look, find Clinton supporters like finding Ed Steve compared to finding Trump and Sanders supporters. So all of a sudden, you know, she's supposed to be in the lead. How the... I mean, this is like... It is reverse reality. It is a war on reality. It is exactly the opposite. Like, tell us uh, these are not the drones you're looking for. I mean, it's right in our face. Yeah, we stole it. Yeah, I'm going to hire Washington Schultz on to my campaign. And screw you. She hired her on her campaign? every next day. Washington Schultz. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, and the kicker is, the kicker is, this is the beauty of it all, right? Sanders, of course, Instead of walking in there with the evidence and going, Give me the nomination! He goes, the fuck, you, you got to support me. And then slinks off and somehow was able to purchase with care a $600,000 lakefront home. Ooh! And now he's out saying he's going to campaign for Clinton. I mean, if you listen to Trump's speeches and Clinton's speeches and, 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 and Sanders' speeches, Sanders was closer to Trump than he ever was to Clinton. I mean, they were both talking about the same thing, stopping the TPP, ringing the corporations, you know, I mean, they were talking, you know, auditing the Fed. I mean, they were like this. The only difference, one was, was a bust out socialist, the other was a capitalist. So, you know, here we got the, 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 the Sanders closer to Trump on all the policies, but now he supported it. I mean, why not just take the knife and twist it a little bit more, Bernie? 
So the lowest form of life on this planet has to be a former Sanders supporter now vote for Clinton. That's like me robbing you and then you giving me your address so I can come back and rob you again. I mean, that shows no moral conjunction whatsoever. You got one man left standing against the establishment. One man that's going to stop the TPP. One man that's going to stop the foreign wars. You know what else he said? That really... That's like a flea fart on a dog. We're talking about, if this was an election that they wanted to have, maybe against Bush, I'd say Jill Stein, anybody else, yeah, do, do call third party, right? But Jill Stein doesn't have one, she's not on all the ballots, you two, she ain't gonna get it, it's a bullshit argument. I'd say vote principle if it was Clinton Bush. But right now we got one shot to go ahead and stop the globalization, because this is all about the globalist destroying nationalists. That's what this is about. If you want to destroy this nation, go ahead and vote for Jill Stein. Go ahead and do that. And then you'll see this thing in front of you. Here, go to my website. This is some of the conversations I've had on here. It's on out.